Today on the Chimney Cartel page, we're going to make a cheesecake. Let's have some fun. First, you're going to start off with a graham cracker crust. And we just put all that together, a little bit of butter and some graham crackers. Here's all your ingredients, eggs, cream cheese, and a little bit of milk. And then that little bag back here you saw was just a powder mix. I'm using a mix, a cheesecake mix from the Cheesecake Factory. So I'm mixing it all together, getting it into my mixer, add the cream cheese. As you can see, we're doing that with just the two blocks. And it's two full blocks. Those are two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. Get it all mixed up together. And then I can make sure it's all mixed thoroughly. Increase the speed a little bit so it's all incorporated. And then I just clean off my beaters a little bit just to make sure that I've got it all. There's no clumps, there's no powder just showing anywhere. And once you've scraped down your sides, get it all back in together, turn your mixer back on so you make sure it's all good and incorporated into the batter. Get it all ready for your eggs, which we're going to do here in a second. So what we're going to do is crack three eggs into this mix. As you notice there, I dropped a little shell on there. You don't want to normally do that, but I just reached in, just one little piece, grabbed it. Another little trick is you can use the shell to reach in and scoop out those broken pieces, and the shell automatically drops, draws the broken pieces to it. So that's a little trick that you can use if you're having to crack over that and drop an eggshell, a piece of an eggshell into your batter. Uh, you don't want to mix it all up in the batter. Now, as you can see, I got it all out. Got the mixer going again, getting it all incorporated with, with the cream cheese and the batter. Putting in a little bit of the milk, get it all nice and creamy. Scrape down the mixer. I always scrape it off because um, I'm a mixer kid. That's how I grew up. Mom would always give us the mixers to lick them off. But I'm not gonna lick this one. I'm just gonna scrape it off and then get it ready to pour into our graham cracker crust. Pour it out this evening, just kind of going over the whole graham cracker crust, get it all ready, and then you'll spread it out smooth with your spatula. Now, if you're going to do a box mix like I did here, you want to follow directions. I believe this one here was 350 degrees for about 45 minutes get it all good and done. I follow the directions on your box. As you, we pull it out, I stuck the toothpick in, which you all don't see here, to make sure it was clean and done, and, and it was. If you're gonna decorate your cheesecake, which what we're gonna do here in just a second, you wanna let it cool. So I pull it out of the oven, I let it cool for about 30 minutes or so, so it's not hot, so whatever I put on it is not gonna melt down into or give an impression it helps solidify it when you let it cool. Now the cool thing about a cheesecake is you can decorate it any way you want to. I happen to have some raspberries laying around, so I just did a quick decoration just to make it pop a little bit. Raspberries are great, they're healthy for you, and they're even more healthy when you put them on top of a cheesecake. Wait a minute. They make the cheesecake healthy when you put them on top of the cheesecake. Um, don't hold me to that, I'm not a doctor. But it does make it look pretty. So you get it all decorated. You can see this decoration is very simple. I just went around the edges with a bunch of raspberries. And then I make a little decoration in the middle of it just to kind of let it set off a little bit. And then we'll slice into it and have a great dessert. This is gonna be a great dessert for your next get together. Simple, easy, quick. People are gonna dig it. And who doesn't love the Cheesecake Factory and the cheesecakes that they make? And here's our finished product. We hope you uh, enjoy it. It looks wonderful, tasted beautiful, and it was great. Don't forget to visit us at chimneycartel.com and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.